Good afternoon everyone, it's David Schlothauer here in the Home Weather Office with another detailed weather forecast for June the 2nd, 2023. In this update, we are going to be looking at the severe weather threat going on across western Texas into the High Plains today, and we're going to be looking at ahead for the next several days as far as the temperatures go because there's another big heat wave coming. Also, if you're new to the channel and you really like these detailed updates, please consider subscribing if you're new, hitting the like button, sharing this video with your family and friends, and leaving an awesome comment in the section below this video. As always, to start off this video, I always like taking a look at the current weather conditions across the United States because today, there's quite a bit going on, and for that reasoning, we're going to be looking at the High Plains first, and then we're going to be focusing on the Northeast. So as you know, we are talking about a big deal of severe weather across Amarillo, Texas, Plainview, Texas, Lubbock, Texas, going on across Midland, Texas on the I-20 corridor. We have had a recent intense supercell here capable of producing hailstones up to two inches in diameter. There is a possibility that some of these storms could produce hail up to three and four inches in diameter today. So this is a pretty big deal. Now, given that it's mainly in a rural area, this precludes a live stream today. Instead, we're looking at the current radar now at the beginning of this video. So again, Amarillo getting hit very hard with storms. We're also seeing a lot of showers and severe thunderstorms going on across Salina, Wichita, Kansas on the I-70 corridor. If you are in Grand Island on the I-80 corridor in Nebraska, we are seeing some strong thunderstorms there capable of producing some gusty winds and some hailstones. We're also seeing pop-up showers and thunderstorms around a strong Omega blocking ridge over Wisconsin, over Cedar Rapids. Temperatures here are in the 90s and we're seeing thunderstorms. So maybe some muggy conditions out there. Minneapolis in Rochester, Minnesota, we're seeing some showers and thunderstorms there. So keep that in mind if you're doing anything outdoors. And then, of course, when we take a look at the Northeast, this is where we are seeing those showers and thunderstorms popping up, coming in out of the North, moving towards the South here. Over Albany, New York, on the I-90 corridor, we are seeing some of those showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Some of these could contain some marginal hail, some marginal strong winds, and maybe a brief landspout tornado or two. Nothing too extreme there. Just some disturbed weather around this big ridge of high pressure that is positioned right now over uh, Wisconsin, over Thunder Bay right now, where those temperatures are quite warm. And the warming temperatures will continue. Nothing much going on across the desert southwest because of that disturbed weather is off towards Colorado. But there might be a pop-up storm later on this afternoon across the Sierra, across Nevada. Part of another little weak upper level low pressure disturbance moving through the area. That's a look at your current weather. Let's take a look now at what's ahead into the future. Taking a look at the European model. This was rendered just a couple of hours ago. And we can see where our severe weather is taking place across the high plains. Also some showers and thunderstorms across Montana and Wyoming. And the pop-up storms across the northeast and a few storms going on across the uh, Wisconsin area. This uh, European model really illustrates this quite well with showers and thunderstorms, part of Tropical Storm Arlene, that are impacting portions of Florida this afternoon. Um, so as we go forward in time, we can see those showers popping up this afternoon again into the evening hours. We will have more strong showers and thunderstorms across the same areas tomorrow from, say, central Texas, western Texas, into Oklahoma, Nebraska, Kansas, also into Colorado, maybe portions of the Dakotas, but also some showers and thunderstorms are expected across Montana and Wyoming throughout the day tomorrow. This is your Saturday, June the 3rd, by the way. Um, if you are living across this area, no signs of snow because it is summertime. We're nearly a couple of weeks away from summer. And so don't expect snow, but expect some inclement rainy and thundery type weather. So going forward, we're going to fast forward this now all the way into Sunday morning. And we can see 
uh, with what the conditions are looking like. Again, we got more showers, storms going on. Going forward into the afternoon, more showers. They're going to pop up. They're going to cause problems, more heavy rainfall, severe weather, and then more showers and thunderstorms for your Monday. So this is for June the 5th. More showers, thunderstorms over Texas, Oklahoma, the deep south there should limit some daytime heating. Uh, further north where you don't get the storms, it's going to be a much warmer period. You're going to see temperatures well into the upper 80s, possibly some mid 90s. You're seeing some warm temperatures today, even some hot temperatures. It's going to probably get a little hotter from here all the way through the weekend. And then going all the way into, say, uh, Tuesday afternoon, again, the same thing, showers and thunderstorms will be a theme going forward each afternoon. That monsoon not given up. And we actually will get more showers and thunderstorms across California, including for Nevada, for the middle of next week. Some of these storms could contain some small hail, some gusty winds, and some frequent cloud ground lightning strikes, especially for the mountains uh, off towards the west. And then by Thursday and by Friday, same thing. Showers and thunderstorms each afternoon here. And that will continue all the way into Sunday. Uh, maybe more showers and thunderstorms perhaps towards the very end of the forecast by Sunday and Monday, June the 12th and the 13th. As far as rain amounts go, this is how much rain you could look, uh, see in the next 10 days from Texas all the way up in towards Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, and portions of Nebraska. You might see anywhere between about one to three to maybe four inches of rainfall because again, these pop-up storms each and every day, the Sierras here could see as much as one to three inches of rainfall over the next 10 days. That's good news. That will fill up the reservoirs. That will help things out really well for our uh, summer dry period in the valley, also for the Bay Area spots. Uh, quite a bit of rainfall in the next 10 days over the Northeast, but otherwise here over the Northern tier of the US, including for the Great Lakes and portions there of the Ozarks, gonna see below average rainfall anywhere between about a quarter of an inch to maybe an inch of rain at most you're gonna see in the next 10 days and here's a look at the precipitation anomaly below average over the great lakes and for the southeast so you're gonna get rid of a lot of the moisture that's been kind of hugging this area for a while a lot of this moisture is now going to be focused over portions of the southern high plains the northern rockies and the west where you're going to see a one to four inches of above normal precipitation anomalies including for canada where some of the fires are burning there it will be very helpful to get more rainfall up there which looks to be the case below average rainfall for uh western washington and oregon been very dry lately and it's going to continue to be that way going forward now, for your uh, temperature forecast, we've talked about that ridge of high pressure on satellite imagery on the WSV3. The ridge is going to be responsible for some warm weather ahead. So as we go forward in time here, we can see for tomorrow afternoon, your temperatures are going to be quite warm anywhere in the upper 80s to middle 90s in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky. Uh, Missouri can see some really warm weather today was warm tomorrow will probably be a bit warmer probably some mid 90s tomorrow for your Saturday and then going all the way into Sunday the it does cool off a little bit up here across portions there of the northern plains and also for the upper midwest and the great lakes but not too much you're gonna see upper 80s to lower 90s some upper 90s up uh, down here across the deep south in Arkansas Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Western Tennessee. You're going to see some very hot weather, and the dew points are going to be also a thing out there. In fact, dew points will be in the um, upper 60s to lower 70s in some areas. Now, good news here, dew points will be in the upper 50s to lower, or actually upper 40s to lower 50s, so actually it shouldn't feel too bad. It's going to be kind of a dry heat but still be very warm nevertheless. And please make sure you drink plenty of water. The hot weather continues all the way into Monday, all the way into Tuesday, just gonna be very warm. Even in uh, Canada uh, over here, gonna see some temperatures in the upper uh, 70s to lower 80s. And then this could continue all the way into Wednesday next week, all the way into Thursday. Really, really warm weather, 80s and 90s going forward. 
through Thursday and even probably through Friday where you might even see some triple digit temperatures down here across the deep south. So yes, the warm weather is coming and that means drink plenty of water, limit outdoor activities to the morning hours instead of during the day and stay in the shade if you are working outside regardless. So now your average one day uh, temperature anomaly forecast illustrates this. If you see your oranges and reds, temperatures are above average. Light blues and dark blues and greens indicate below average temperatures. So we can see over the next one day average, days one through two, you're going to see above average temperatures in the upper Midwest. And this is going to continue all the way through. Maybe some cooler weather for days nine and ten as some cooler air comes out of the north. But look at this. It's going to warm up across uh, western Canada into the Pacific Northwest. where Another big heat wave probably will be uh, coming Temperatures near average to below average here and near average though for the eastern seaboard and for the southeast. This matches up pretty well with the Climate Prediction Center as we can see here with below average chances for temperatures likely for the four corners and for portions there of New Mexico, actually most of New Mexico, for the southeast and also for the eastern seaboard including for the northeast likely to leaning below average chances of temperatures but look at this this red up here across the pacific northwest does illustrate you're gonna have a likely chance for above average temperatures that's the six to ten day this is the eight to fourteen day looks to um uh, lean below average to likely below average for the southeast or for the southwest us including uh, likely below average chances for temperatures for the northeastern us and above average for the Pacific Northwest and near average to above average chances for the Southeast and for the Pacific Northwest. When we take a look at our 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook here, definitely going wet still for California, for Nevada, for the Intermountain West, including for Texas. This is good news for Californians. We really need the water. We Even so, um, our reservoirs are overfilled in some sense. It's always good to keep them as full as possible uh, for as long as possible because who knows what winter will bring, right? Every winter seems unique here across the West. So it's very important that we fill up those reservoirs and it's looking good with above average precipitation. Even so, our reservoirs are overfilled. Uh, leaning above for the Northeast, below average likely for the upper Midwest and also for the Northern tier of the U.S., and then the 8 to 14 day is still looking wet across the west with, again, uh, below average precipitation there across the northern tier of the U.S. Well, that's going to sum it up for today's U.S. weather forecast. If you did enjoy the video, everybody, I would highly recommend that you do. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really means a lot. I enjoy making these videos for you all. Even so, it's warm in the office. It doesn't stop me from making these videos. So if you can please share this, like the video, and subscribe, that would really mean a lot to me. And also leave a comment in the section below this video. As always, I will be back tomorrow with another detailed weather forecast. I plan on making these every single day. I know the weather pattern is boring. It's not as interesting this time of the year, but it's always good to keep you all on your feet at all times with daily weather updates here on the channel. Well, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching.